Hello! <laughs> Got carried away there looking at something completely nothing to do with this show whatsoever. Welcome to my channel. This is The Rock Show and today I thought we'd have a look. There are over 100 games available for free to trial out with Google Stadia. Some of them 30 minutes, some of them two hours, uh, but you don't need to pay and that's the great thing about this platform. If you're new to Stadia, and there are quite a few of you, no doubt, watching this in the future that are, then uh, quite simply, Google Stadia provides a cloud gaming platform or a cloud or a game streaming platform. Basically, that means you never have to install a game. You never have to download a game. You never have to patch a game. You just click and play on your TV, on your mobile device, on your tablet, on your laptop, on your PC, wherever you want to. So, without further ado, as they say, proper professional YouTubers, let's have a little looky-poos at the list of stuff, and there are quite a few. So we'll click on, this is uh, Google's website. So if we click on uh, the trials, which I've just zipped past, here we go. So these currently are the games you can see behind my huge head. Let me just shrink myself down there, make myself a little bit more conspicuous. There we go. So these giant, uh, these giant heads, <laughs> these small heads. Hello, John, how are you? I'm just, uh, I'm looking at the chat as well. So my good friend, John Scar, who is uh, on my Tuesday show, Stadia Rock Show, please watch 5 p.m. UK, 9 a.m. Uh, on the West Coast and midday on the East Coast. Liam, how are you, my friend? Watching while waiting for your PS5 game to download. You see, this is what you don't get with Stadia. That's the beauty of the platform. Now, Stadia have made it possible for all game developers that port or create games for Stadia to uh, actually make their games available for a free trial. All they have to do is determine how long they want you to be able to play the game and it's an automatic thing. So uh, here's a big old list of quite a few games as you can see. Now the ones with the little green button that says claimed or in my library or purchased, they're all games that I've got in my library that I've either got because I'm a Google Stadia Pro subscriber and I've claimed them every single month since Stadia became a thing back in November 2019 or I've bought them which is also the case, or uh, in some cases, for example, if it's a Ubisoft game, then it's part of my Ubisoft Plus subscription, which is also connected with Stadia and allows me to play their library of games that have been made available for the platform at absolutely no cost, additional cost, except for the Ubisoft Plus subscription fee that I pay. Hi, Michael. How are you? Dan, good to see you, my friend. What is new, Pussycat? I know exactly where you're coming from. Uh, Mike Richardson, if only Google was selling the platform as much as you do. Oh, bless you, my friend. Somebody's got to do it, and it may as well be me. <laughs> so I thought tonight, 
we would have a look at uh, some of the games that I don't have a green button beside. And there's a few. Not many, it has to be said. But there are a few. So we've got uh, Adventure Time, Pirates of the uh, Encheridion. I presume that's how that's spelled. Um, that we can play 30 minutes on that one. We won't be, by and due. We'll be doing a few minutes. Uh, Chris Tales, that's got a 60-minute timer. Dragon Quest 11 S Echoes of an Elusive Age. That's got a two-hour timer. So you can literally play that game for two hours. Once you've played it, of course, on a trial, you can't go back and play it again. But if you buy the game, then your progression carries across. So that's a absolutely superb. Gigantosaurus the game, 30 minutes. That one actually does kind of makes me want to play. It's got dinosaurs. I mean, what big kid doesn't like dinosaurs? Ice Age, Scrat's Nutty Adventure, another game specifically designed for the younger ones amongst us. Little Nightmares, complete edition. What else we got? Monster Energy Supercross. Um, and we've also got, uh, that's three and four, so you've got both seasons there, or both uh, versions of the game, both giving you 60 minutes at no cost, which is great because you can try out both the third, uh, the, the, the third edition and the fourth edition and say to yourself, well, you know, there's a, there's a £10 difference, and actually I felt that the third one was not much different to the fourth one. I'll save myself £10. So you do get that opportunity. Monster Jam Steel Titans 2, uh, MotoGP 21, Murder by Numbers, my friend Peppa Pig, uh, My Little Pony, which uh, John Scar showed off on uh, Stadia Rock Show yesterday, which was much fun. The one I'm really keen on is Outriders World Slayer Edition. Now, I have played and completed Outriders, but I haven't played the World Slayer Edition. What I don't know, and we'll find out, is whether this just starts you at the outset of the game if you haven't played it on Outr uh, on uh, Stadia, or whether it kicks you in at that point. So we'll maybe have a little look at that. And plenty more. We could go on and on and on. So, quickly look at the old chat. Who have we got here? We've got um, Dre. How are you, my friend? I hope you're a little bit cooler today than it's been in these last few days for you. It's uh, It's been very cool where I am today. We've had rain and cloud and uh, it's been a lot cooler. I think even even in my little uh, studio here, I've been able to have the fan off today, which is uh, good news, good to have. So let's jump in very quickly to, where was it? It was uh, a bit further down, the Outriders. Here we go. So I'm keen to see whether this is going to put us, it, whether it's a trial of Outriders, in which case... That's going to put me to the beginning of the game. Um, or does it put us in, does it allow us to play the uh, the new DLC? Or the, Actually, I think it's kind of more than a DLC, given the price. I think it's a, an additional 20 or, or 30 pounds. So let's play for 45 minutes. I have my trusty founder's controller. So when Google Stadia was first announced, if you pre-ordered ahead of its release, uh, one of the things that you could get as part of that pre-order was this, which is a, a unique Founders controller. So you could only get that one, uh, other than buying it from someone else afterwards, if you were a founder. Plus, you got uh, your choice of name without all the digits at the end, which was pretty good. Roger, how are you? Thanks for joining, and hi to you too, my friend. So let's let's have a look at this and see whether it's Outriders The Beginning or it takes us to World Slayer. Peggy 18. Hopefully there won't be anything too uh, too disturbing. Apologies in advance if you're of a nervous disposition. Checking your connection right underneath my chin. <laughs> Somebody ought to. And um, all right, let's have a look. Now the great thing about Stadia is is that these games, because they're they're powered in the cloud on uh, super duper. Uh, high-tech kit they load really fast and there have been so many trials done where uh, games have loaded on stadia faster than even on pc p 
People can fly. They can if you kick them off a tall building. I can absolutely attest to that. Move my cursor out of the way. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's have a little looky-poos. So, as I said, what we're looking for, what I'm looking for here is, does this take me or give me the opportunity to, to have a look at the new DLC? Or is it just going to shove us to the very front of the game? Um, we shall see. Now, it may well be that uh, you can access... Now, I know it says World Slayer, but that don't mean nothing. Start game, connecting to back-end services. Look superb. Another great thing about Stadia is that it can be all the way up to 4K if you've got the Google Stadia Pro subscription, which for me, I think, is £8.99 a month. Now then. Right, Rose is an uh, early character that I think I, uh, I created on Stadia. Now, um, Outriders is or was made a pro game at some point in the past, so you could actually uh, add it to your library, which I did, but because I'd already played the game and completed it, I didn't really... I had a quick look at it just to see how it looked. I thought it looked great, um, but that's why I have a character here. Choosing this option allows you to enjoy World Slayer with your pre-existing character. Please note, however, that if for any reason you lose access to World Slayer, this character will no longer be playable, even in the base game. Well, that's worth knowing, isn't it? Do you wish to proceed? I do, because I haven't actually done a great deal. Do you know what? I think I just pressed the wrong key. <laughs> now, here we go. Important information. Please talk to uh, Chana, Kana, Kahana in the Expeditions Camp to access World Slayer content. Righto, will do. Um, so uh, let's continue the game. I accidentally pressed A instead of X when it told me, am I okay about losing the character? David, Mr. David Wilson, how are you, Squire? Good evening to you too. Thank you for, for joining on this fine evening. So, uh, okay, well, we'll soon see. I'm hoping we'll have to find this uh, Channa character. Hey Crow, how are you, my good buddy? Good to see you too. We'll have to find Channa and find out if she can kick us into this uh, extra special uh, World Slayer DLC. So I'm a bit far from base here, but while we're here, we'll pick up whatever's in there. Ammo replenished, there we go. Great game. Um, I, I mean, I've really enjoyed playing this, Outriders. It's, um, well, it's kind of a, as you can see, it's a kind of third-person shooter, but it's got uh, each character. You can choose up to three uh, from three different types of character. Each one has a set of special traits. I forget which one uh, I've applied to this one. We've got a bit of blur effect on there, motion blur. I don't normally select motion blur because it annoys me. Uh, but either way, we'll run over here, see if we can get back inside. There we go. If we can go back into the town, we might be able to choose Chenna. Hey, Dre, let's see, because I started with a new character and suddenly I didn't start with the truck from the beginning, but in the snow, no idea if it was because I skipped the intro. Could well be, could well be, Dre, you can do that. Oh, yeah, Um. so if you create a character and then you go on to choose a new one, it gives you an option to completely skip all of that intro stuff, which, um, you know, unless you wanted to... Rem remind yourself of, of what was going on pretty much everybody does now then let's find this uh, Channa individual I'm assuming they're here let's see I think you can have a look at a map quest map um, bunker hill points of interest of course, I'm a complete noob for pressing the wrong button when I was given an opportunity <laughs> to experience the new DLC. So we'll need to, hopefully, we'll find this character. It's not him, that's for sure. Yeah, I did. I completed it after it came out, Dre, um, and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, as usual with most games, I played it solo. Um, I rarely play a game through first time on co-op because, you know, for me, a co-op uh, experience is is less about the game and more about 
having a good old natter with your friends. So um, I don't tend to, if it's a game that I really want to get my head into and, and complete, I don't tend to do it in co-op. Um, so I didn't, and I'm not sure if that made it harder or easier, but uh, sorry, I've got something flown into my eye, probably um, reality. <laughs> I am so annoyed with myself. I'm never going to find this Chiana character. Where the heck is it? It's probably something that doesn't even appear at this level. Ruined Outpost is where we are. That's uh, outside of the outpost. So what if we what if we come out? Now, am I right in saying... I think I may be right in saying if you come out from a trial, you can't go back in. It's kind of a, a one-off experience. So I'm kind of loath to come out. Where am I in the game? Well, I haven't, I've finished it, uh, David, but not on this platform. So I, I had a very quick look at it uh, when it came to the Pro, uh, Stadia Pro, um, but I haven't been back in. And the reason that uh, I'm in it now is because I fired up the trial and I want to see what the World Slayers DLC looks like. Uh, but you're, yeah, Crow is right. Crow says, once you finish the game, though, co-op is the way. Oh, it's 100% the way. You, you, well, it has, you have to do the end game stuff with uh, a couple of other people. It's impossible if you don't. So, yeah, you're absolutely right, my friend. Um, and, in fact, that's exactly what I did. So once, um, once, you, once I finished the game through and I went into uh, the end game content, that was all about playing with, with other folk. Well, this is danged annoying because I don't think I am going to find this character, Chiana, without restarting. And, uh, Ch oh, sorry, Chana. David said, Chana's first place is Trenchtown. So, yeah, well, we're going to get, we're not going to get to Trenchtown, are we? Not, not without a proper playthrough. So, yeah, that ain't going to happen on a 45 minute trial. So, I've blown my first trial, but out of interest, Let's hold down the old Stadia button and exit the game. Uh, now, it gives you an option at this point to try another game. Continue where you left off by getting the game on Stadia. Your progress and achievements will be saved. So we don't need to get the game because although it doesn't show as claimed on here, that's because the DLC, um, I haven't, haven't bought the DLC, but I did buy, oh, but did claim the main game. So that's why it didn't show that. Now, I think it's now disappeared from our list of trial games. So once you've been in, if you come out, if you only ever look at it for five minutes, don't think you can go back in and find it again, because once experienced, it will be gone. But that's okay. I mean, that's just, you know, my numpty uh, way of pressing the wrong button. So the next one I wanted to have a little look at was the guy, the, here it is, the Gigantosaurus. 30 minutes. I think this is a kiddies game. Uh, David P, how are you? I think if you exit the trial, the clock keeps running, so you could navigate back, but only within that concurrent 45 minutes. It did disappear, David, from the trials list. So I have a feeling that... Um, I, I, it's not there. What to, what's a gal to do? If you can't click on the trial, then you can't give it a go. But that's good, because we'll have a look at uh, Gigantosaurus instead. So a 30-minute trial on this one, that's because it's a game aimed at the younger audience. And uh, we know that a lot of these games are easily completed if you are an experienced gamer. So the, the, the games for the youngsters tend to be more of a 30-minute trial. And if anything, it's really just for we parents to check out the game, see if it's something we think our kids might like before purchasing. Created by our very good friends, Outright, who have a ton of children's games on Stadia. And uh, here we go, confirm with a, an A. It thought I was a keyboard there. You can do keyboard and mouse on Stadia as well as controller. Uh, and you can use pretty much any controller that you could buy today. There he goes. New adventure, yeah, let's do a new adventure. Regular mode's the standard way to play, or let's do regular then. This is where we get our um, butts handed to us. Behold the savannah. Of all kinds. It's a wondrous place, nice and safe, though dangers can arise. 
They can. Why, if it isn't Kror and Totor, a pair of sneaky velociraptors. They stole a baby egg. Oh, what a disaster. Say hello to our friends. Rocky, Tiny, Bill, and Mazu. Rocky throws the ball. Mazu, look out behind you. <laughs> it's all happening. It's going on. Look at this. Kror takes a nasty bump. Stars circle her eyes. But Totor is determined to win back their stolen prize. The raptors take the egg and run. Despite the gang's determination, the egg appears lost for good until Mazu makes an observation. Behold, what's this? Behold, Look there upon the, the ground. only thing greater the than yourself. That's how they'll be found. From Alex Haley's Roots, 1976. <laughs> Uh, I could have done the line from Lion King. I mean, it's very similar. Just wanted to switch that filter over so my chin wasn't disappearing. Right, the raptors have stolen an egg. Use uh, a lid to follow the, uh, the path. Oh, here we are. It's a little pink path. So it, I would just... My first observation is that they're not anatomically correct dinosaurs. <laughs> I think this is what we call uh, anthropomorphism in the... Uh, in the uh, scientific world. Oh, what's this? Cabbage. Yes, cabbage is good for you. So Dre says, if these games were multilingual, that would be good. Um, I'll take a look later. No, let's have a quick look anyway, shall we? Let's have a look at the options and see. So, do you know, that's a really good point. Here we go, look, we've got language. Um, over to the right hand side now how we get over to that right hand side is an interesting question isn't it I bet I can get there with a mouse but um, it's interesting narrator so it looks like the narrator you can change the language although I, can't, I can see it says English but it's not giving me any options there so maybe you can't Dre maybe uh, it's fixed at English Interesting point, one you should certainly raise with Stadia, I would say. Although this is almost certainly uh, an issue with Outright Games. Outright Games are an English developer, but that's no excuse. They should certainly be thinking about... The ah, here we go. Right, well, I've got over to the other side somehow, but uh, no option to uh, change the, the language, I'm afraid. Right. Our friends find the raptors. A fight game with they dinosaurs. Martin, well, I think there is one, isn't the there, on Stadia? I certainly a remember a fight game them. with uh, critters. Wow, there's. Pedicure is needed. <laughs> the raptors flee in panic. The egg soars through the air. Catch it, Rocky, catch it! That's the great thing about the trial, of course, Trey, is you can try the games and see the uh, if they're going to give you that multilingual option. Um, but it's a really valid point. We know that Stadia is obviously available pretty much throughout the whole of Europe. November time, maybe What's September time, coming to Mexico as Our well. So having um, the ability the to play games in anything other than English here? is... Uh, is something that they really need to think about. Now, as I've said, that's less likely to be um, on Stadia than it is on the developer. Um, and I would suggest possibly because um, the time constraints and the resource constraints of porting the game from other platforms. But, but I would take that up with Outright Games. They're really responsive. If you talk to them on uh, Twitter, just... Um, Google Outright Games on Twitter and they'll come up with their account name. Ask them whether they're uh, going to bring multilingual options to Stadia and see what they have to say. But of course there are other games and um, I'm fairly certain a lot of them are indeed give uh, multilingual options. No, that's fair. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you're... Um, if I'm right in saying you are, uh, are you 
from the Netherlands originally or Denmark, I forget. Obviously living in in Spain, so uh, and you speak brilliant English, so I know you could argue that you personally could play a game in English, but that shouldn't be the case by default. And of course, that doesn't mean that your children or any other member of your family have the same um, the same uh, grasp of English. And, uh, and in any case, why should we assume that everybody else will simply play the game in English? I think it's a really valid point, my friend. And I'd be very keen to hear how you get on if you do have that conversation. But let me know. That'll be good. So you kind of get the feel for this. It's the usual, it's the usual kind of outright game fodder. You're running around collecting stuff. They tend to have uh, quite a similar feel. Um, and you can roll on logs. And um, what's not fun about that when you're three years old? Uh, go to the cliff to see what's going on. Well, I'm assuming that's the cliff. Can we roll up the cliff? Or do we have to jump up the cliff? Grab these uh, purple jobbies, whatever they are. And then you'll be able to do stuff with them. Oh, life was so easy back in the days of the dinosaurs. You jump in there. No. Oh, Davis, how are you, my friend? Thank you for popping in. Great to see so many guys tonight. And gals. I shouldn't be sexist. All uh, right, where am I going to drop this? Martin says, I did tell a friend about Stadia. He hates gaming, but has small kids that love games. Yeah, well, there you go. It's a perfect option for um, families because, of course, you can play it on your tablet. And how many families have uh, either a, a, an iPad or a, maybe an Android tablet that they take on long trips uh, with their kids? And the only downside, of course, is, is that you are dependent upon your broadband connection so if you are driving and you hand the uh, iPad or the tablet to your kids and the signal isn't great for a start most iPads and Android tablets don't have the option to connect to uh, 4G or 5G so you probably will need to tether it with your phone so a little bit more complicated than uh, than, uh, than it should be maybe, but as time progresses with 5G and devices, that will change. Either way, if you're camping somewhere or you're on holiday somewhere, vacation, then it's still an awesome option. Just sat at home in the garden or something else. Right, I think we've had a good old feel for Gigantosaurus. We're going to kick out of that one. We're not going to buy that one. Uh, catch up with the chat. Surely true. Uh, happy Surely True from Dre. Games, uh, these kids' games are amazing. They, they certainly are. Um, they're so simple that it's easy to get into them. And with the family link, you set a limit on screen time. Yeah, and of course, you can add them into your family account as well, as long as they're old enough to have a Google account. So they can literally play all of your games and uh, you can set which ones you want them to play. So that's good. Right, so what else have we got that's maybe a little bit more grown up? that I haven't got. It's no point in me playing. A, it won't, I doubt it will let me play a trial of something. Yeah, it's going to just play it in our... Um, let's go back in uh, my library. So we need to find games that I definitely don't have. Now, I have given Humankind a little bit of a go. That genuinely needs the full two hours to get your head into for that one. And, you know, maybe another stream in the future would be um, looking at these kids' games because that's a really good point. Little Nightmares, a little bit scary. It's um, maybe not the thing to play in a general look at uh, Trials. Oh, we've got Blaze and the Monster Machines. We've got a lot of children's ones here, haven't we? See, all the other ones I've kind of... Uh, let's have a look at... Uh, I'd say there was one I saw earlier. Here it is, Dragon Quest. Now, I've heard good things about Dragon Quest. So that is a two-hour trial. Uh, it's a definitive edition, includes all the content from the original release of the acclaimed Dragon Quest XI and adds extra character-specific scenarios. So it's a special edition for Stadia, that's good news. Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age, definitive edition. So let's have a little peep at that then. No idea what this is about. I believe it's an RPG. Let's move my mouse out of the way. There we go. 
be right back. See you in a bit. <laughs> it wasn't me. I was Martin saying that. <laughs> what is it? Wednesday. I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. I actually uh, had a pretty good Wednesday, I have to say. It was, wasn't bad at all. As days go by, it was all right. So let's see then. Dragon Quest XI. Uh, and Dragon Quest XI S save data created. Good. I'm glad. I had to press a button. It didn't tell me to, though. <laughs> Square Enix. Big studio presents. And then that lovely initial cinema. Cinematographicologic thing. Nice animation. Very, very uh, top-notch. Looks like my niece. <laughs> Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra. God oh, bless him. Crow, I forgot I own this game. I need to play it again. It's a great game. <laughs> there you go. Well, I have never played it, Crow, so this is a brilliant trial option for me. But I have heard good things about it. And the funniest thing is, you know... Not that long ago, I wouldn't have given a game like this a second look. And then I played Genshin Impact, and it has really opened my eyes to these kinds of games, so I'm much more receptive to them now. Roger says, co-watching women's Euros. Yeah, how are they doing England v Spain, isn't it? Is it the final tonight? I think it is. Keep us up to date with the score, and uh, if you just say score coming up, everybody else could turn away. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched any of it to be honest, although we were we were in Portsmouth last weekend and uh, we stopped at a cafe and there was a bunch of young ladies all wearing England women's football uh, garb. So I don't know whether that was the squad or not, but uh, it could well have been. I was quite excited. Create a new adventure log, okay. What name? We've got to give ourselves a name. Remember, this one's a long one. This one gives you a good two hours to um, have a kick around. So you're going to get a good feel from this one, whether it's a game for you. Uh, Draconian Quest. So if I go to end, will that end it? Because I don't want to put anything more than that in there. Yes, I am happy to proceed. There we go. So we've got 3D. Oh, look at this. You can do 3D mode or 2D mode. How awesome is that? Which mode do you want to begin your adventure in? Oh, definitely 3D. Don't worry, you can change the way the world looks. I've never seen that in a game. That is awesome. If 2D is your thing, that's brilliant. Wow. Okay. Which language would you like the characters to uh, voices? I know this is interesting. A lot of people are purists and prefer to have Japanese with English subtitles. Um, for the purposes of now, we won't do that, but uh, camera control settings, we'll, we'll leave those as suggested, I think. So we'll confirm. Um, I'm fairly happy with the way it looks, so we'll confirm that as well. D -d 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 Adventure log successfully created. D -d 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 so Dre, if uh, being in Spain, is uh, is the women's football um, a big thing there as well, or, or is it not? Has it not got uh, much traction? This is like, beautiful animations, aren't they? They're really top-notch cartoon sort of quality. Never heard of it, says Dre. Uh, what the game or the football? <laughs> Could be either. Been a big thing in uh, in England or in the UK. But there's been uh, there's been quite a drive to um, give uh, more more sort of broadcasting space to to women's football and women's sport in general, which is a good thing. So we have an invisible penguin or something kicking around down there. So far, interestingly enough, no voices, English or Japanese. Maybe that's about to change. Stunning animation. This child. Ah, it's be becoming big now. Women football is very fast growing in Spain. Yeah, never heard of this game. Because you see, 
Uh, Dre is actually, a, you're a football agent, aren't you, my friend? People may not realize this. Dre is actually a, a qualified football agent and um, operating out of Spain. This is kind of almost, this is almost sort of Pixar quality, isn't it? It's amazing. Well, I can see why they've given us two hours trial. <laughs> You're going to need that for the cinematics. Football scout working with agents. Sorry, Dre. Thank you for correcting me. You're the man on the. You're the man that runs around checking them all out and uh, spotting the talent. Interesting that there's been literally no dialogue so far. I'm intrigued to see how that works with the game itself. That's it. Don't drop the baby! Forty-four, Dre. Keek. It's forty-four where Dre is in Spain, but Spain can handle heat. I can imagine other parts of Europe. The major problem we have in this country with heat is that um, we don't have air conditioning or anything like it. Um, so, although I think the major it is kind of only going to last a few days in in the parts of the country where it's been I think, the highest it's got so far. I think it may have gone up again today. Yesterday it was 40.6, which I know for, you know, that's not unheard of in Central Europe, but it's um, it's incredibly unusual for the UK. In fact, it was the hottest day on record, or since records began, I should say. Come here. Oh, there is no need to be frightened anymore. Somebody's going to just launch the epic game launch. <laughs> Oh, I can hear a voice. And I'm just putting a little bit of illumination on the side of my face as well, because it's going to start to get dark. There we go, that'll do. Right, we're through the cinematic. Wow. Several years later. It was gorgeous, though. I mean, that was really professional cartoon quality. Yeah, of course, everyone in, in um, southern Spain pretty much has air con swimming pools etc lots of lots of opportunities to cool down um, but it's unheard of in, in northern Europe of course yes that's it absolutely they're they're not Thanks, in direct so exposure You're to the sun it must have been ridiculous ah we have voices and a dog Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. Well, sounds like she's from my part of the world. <laughs> You're right, my darling. Hold to skip. Turn on autoplay cutscenes. I do like the autoplay just to get, get rid of them. Turned on. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Oh, that's reasonable acting. I've got to give it to the voice. <laughs> Yeah, 44 in Norway. <laughs> well, I was saying, I was listening to a guy earlier and he was saying, right now you, you can um, you can take your jumper off in the North Pole and it's perfectly warm. That's not good news. Cobblestone tour base. Oh, music's fairly heavy. Mind how you go, you hear her. She's uh, talking to that old fella down there. We have a map. I like the interface. That's nice and uh, straightforward. So, cobble, where are we? We're the uh, little goal. There we are, flashing on the top of the map. Um, we can zoom in with Y, and then we can move it around with the left thumbstick. Okay, that's where we've come from. There's a. I'm not sure what those little pink dots are. We'll find out in a second. Zoom out and uh, 
show overlay. So I'm assuming that her, she's the pink overlay. Oops, sorry, the pink uh, dot. Items, magic. Don't know what that means. Does that mean that we've got these are our items? Oh yeah, cobblestone sword and some empty stuff. Miscellaneous attributes. There's our uh, HP. As with all these RPG games, it does take a little while just to get your head around all of the options, the key combos and stuff. Right, what I do want to do is see if I can do this. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, hello, blue uh, woman. You know, I'm not sure I've ever seen the two of you apart, and I think you're all grown up already. Are those wedding bells I hear? Uh, nope. <laughs> DJ says, for me, it's always way too hot, but we uh, we don't go out in the day from 11.30 to 5.30. Yeah, no, it's, uh, there's a reason that it's a siesta. Nurse, look at you, Rock. Oh, no, more caps. She's shouting at me. My little boy, all grown up. So we can just hit A to speed through all the chit-chat. Oh, I'll keep starting it. <laughs> Is this old dude, yeah, none, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, just telling us the same stuff. There we go, there's woof, woof, woof. Let's have a look over here. Very pretty. Nice. That's the local priest. I think the uh, Tokyo Symphony Orchestra should go and take a break, just, a f just for a few minutes. <laughs> I tried to find the settings. I could turn the music down, but there you go. That's just me. I have to get back into this game. Oh my, the backlog. I'm at, at this moment in time, I'm guessing that um, I'm nowhere near into the game. My you? granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was lit as long as I can. I just wonder whose I did. It is a quest, of course, so well, the quest is yet to then. begin. Oh, blueberries. Vicious blueberries! Ah, monsters! They're coming this way! <laughs> Attack of the berries. Slimes. Watch out. Fight! Uh, I'm trying. So is this one of those, they, they have a crack at you, you have a crack at them? Tactics, rock, show no mercy, confirm. Whoops. Boom, 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 boom. Slimey, oh, what am I doing? What am I going to do here? Fight wisely, don't use MP, focus on healing. Whatever. I'm trying everything. Am I pressing the wrong buttons? <laughs> These slimes are laughing at me. View power, tactics. No, I don't want to flee. Settings, speed, battle mode. Uh, do you want to change it to the classic camera? No, I'm good with that, whatever that is. Tactics, uh, rock, show no mercy, yeah. Don't fret about MP, just give the enemy what for. Um, ah, right, here we go. Oh, you know what it is, I keep pressing Y. I've got to stop doing that. Because Y is where all the settings and stuff live. Dre, those slimes don't look so bad, they seem to have fun. <laughs> yeah, but um, against me, they were laughing, mate. Crikey, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were a... Little. Oh, dog's off, what else has he found? It's got a very heavy tail, I've noticed. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just off. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came. The slimy blueberries. 
Right, running is R, is um, RT. So I'll have a little look up here before. Hey, what did we get just now from that um, from that battle? What was in that chest? How did we find out? That's our map. Uh, that's um, something else. That's nothing. I'm just pressing all the buttons here. Nothing, nothing. Jump. B is jump. A does nothing. Um, why? Here we go. Equipment. So, what did it give us? Anything at all? Attributes, possibly. Items. Mm, medical herb. Medicinal herb. Oh, I suppose it's got to have some value. Restores at least 30 health points to a single ally consumed upon use. Um, number carried one. Well, we've lost a little bit of our HP. So let's use it and see what happens. Uh, restores, yeah, do it then. There we go, we restored our HP. Awesome stuff. Let's go back after Woof Woof. What's that say? Anything? Lot tries to read the sign, but he's standing on the wrong side of it. Oh, very clever. Cobblestone village that way, cobblestone tour this way. Right then, let's run up through this cave. That's good. You don't need to push forward with the thumbstick. Uh, if you're running, you just hold down RT. Saves the uh, repetitive strain. I've been playing um, a lot of uh, Stray today, actually. I've recorded about five or six hours of it. I'm about three quarters of the way through. Obviously, that's not a stadium game. But I've got everything. Happy Cloud Game! I have so many games to play, but still only 24 hours in the day. I know. It's worse than that, isn't it? Because who gets to play for 24 hours? Get close enough to a monster and a small orange arrow will appear just above them. Press A and you'll give them a weighty wallop with your weapon. Ooh. Lowering their HP before battle has even begun. Right. Let's wallop him. There he goes. He's walloped. Oh no, it's like the old Batman music. Fight! <laughs> Get him, bundle! So, I am struggling with the way that uh, combat works, because it, it it's not just a case of slapping them with your sword, there's clearly more to it than that. Um, which is probably down to choosing different tactics. Da, 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 da. Same animation as before. Oh, we're back in the same place. So, fight. There you go. Oh, the dog's helping as well. That's pretty cool. New party status. So our tactics are show no mercy, but you can choose... I don't know what it does. Strike a careful balance between offense and defense. Uh, all right, let's do that then. Hey Liam, how are you? Well, thanks for watching, my friend. No problem at all. Which game are you going off to play? This one? You'd have to stream it so I know what the hell you need to do. Right, rocks received four things that have disappeared and we'll never know what they were. We'll avoid that one because we'll end up in the same animation and all that stuff. And there's more of them. Oh, I'll move past them. We can do that one. Look at this. There's a mouse like fellow here. Oh, he wants to have a crack as well. Oh, he's bought his. They're called needlers, look. They've got needles. Speed, ultra fast. Oh, see, we are running around ultra fast, it's true. But there's like a. There's a, there's a pause just after you've used your weapon. Like a three second pause, which is really weird. Rock received six points and six coins. So we've increased from one to two. Woohoo! And we've learned a new spell. 
So all your stuff goes up a level, which is good. And uh, we've learned frizz, whatever frizz does. We should um, we should establish what frizz does, I suppose. Uh, attack of frizz. Right. Reposition. Oh, this is a, this is camera mode, I guess. Ah, okay. So you take a photo and send it to your friends. That's cute. Um, wave. Oh, she's all coy. Thumbs up. There we go. Look at that one. Screenshot taken. A glowy blue thing. What are you running this way for? Cancel. There's an auto run option. Ah, I'm trying to stop it. Wrong button, right, okay. What did that do? Climb all the way to Cobblestone Tour. Woof woof. Ah, Horizon to the Bin West. Completed that one? <laughs> Enjoy it, my friend. Yes, I'm looking forward to playing that one a little bit later, Martin. I've been playing, oh, so many different games recently. Across so many different platforms. But you know me, I like to try and complete a game, so I don't like to load up too many. Cool, cool blimey, governor. I think we've seen enough of this one. What a coal! Definitely good that they've given you two hours though, because there is definitely some practice needed for combat and stuff. It's not fog at all. The dog's it's not happy. Monsters. So this I'm guessing this is where your magic comes in. Smog draws in. We've got the Batman music again. So fight. Oh, here you go. Go away, go away, tactics. That's the thing, isn't it? So... No. Diddly dee! So it's offense and defense, I guess. So the concept is, is that you hit once and then defend yourourself. Tough little blighters, aren't they? <laughs> they were tough little blighters, weren't they, my darling? <laughs> Are you them tough little blighters? I, I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. His hair is literally floating on his head. But then those monsters head. appeared. And he's cross-eyed. He's not on? got a lot going for him, has he? Bless him. Right, awesome. I would, I would reserve judgment on that one. I think, um, I honestly, everyone that I know that has played it loves it, but I think it's quite clear you do need to invest a bit of time into it. Now then, what else have we to play? Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. So there's Gigantosaurus, which, if you remember, we bailed out from. And yet there it is, saying, come and have a go again. So what happened to Outriders, then? Unless I've just been blind to it. Let's go slowly. No, it's definitely not there. Weird. Um, let's look under add-ons. Why is it not letting me? Um, mm, unless it's moved over. 
tell you what, out of interest, let's come out from this screen. And Outriders World Slayer is actually on the main screen. Oh no, look, there's a floating cursor. Um, Outriders World Slayer is actually a game on the main screen, so what we could do is try and uh, try it out from there. Has it crashed on me? I damn well hope not. Now you can have a look. Here we go. We got there in the end. Good. Right, let's go back up to the store. Here we go. That's what we needed to do. And let's come down to Trials, and we'll choose World Slayer this time from the tr this Trials menu. See, it says Played. So maybe that's an option that developers have. Um, they only Some of them obviously allow you to go on and play them again if you want to, complete your full 45 minutes, whereas other, other uh, developers just say, no, you get the one bite at the cherry, and if you don't, if you mess it up or you come out, it's your own fault. Uh, it's such a shame that I've got all these in my library. I could just go in and show you the games, but what would be the point in that? Um, right, what else have I not? See, there you go, look at that. That one's showing there as well. How interesting. So that must be an option on a developer-by-developer -developer basis, um, whether or not... Uh... Tremont, how are you? Good afternoon to you too, my friend. Thank you for popping in. It's very um, very nice of you to pop in. It's uh, afternoon, afternoon, where you are, and it is very much evening where I am. Um, but uh, it's great to see you either way. Thanks for popping in. What about old Scratch? Should we have a quick look at Scrap? Why not? Why not? I do love the uh, Ice Age franchise. Again, another outright game. So you do know it's kind of a mark of quality for kids' games outright they definitely and the interesting thing with them is and we touched on this on um stadia rock show yesterday they're now they're now getting uh to develop games ahead of the release of the franchise movies um so the studios obviously trust them enough that they're giving them carte blanche on development of the game so so that's really good there we are Good evening. No, afternoon is absolutely good. Wherever you are in the world, I hope it's good. <laughs> Blue Sky Studios. But I do love me some Ice Age. I think it's hilarious. I always want to jump in a ball pool when I see this logo. OG. Outright Games. And JAW. Just Add Water. I think they're the publisher. You like me, do you keep pressing all the buttons when you get all that stuff, try and whip through it? The game saves data automatically, it says. Here we go. New game, yeah. So the Forgotten Temple. We've got uh, 16 tablet pieces and four statues. It may have been forgotten, but the temple is full of things to discover. My big head and my little leather chair, I'm afraid, is covering what it's saying there. can hear him. <laughs> oh, where is he? Oh, we got stuck on a screen here. I think we may have, we may be stuck here. It's not Stadia's fault, it's to do with the browser that I'm using. So I think what we'll do is we'll exit completely and I'll fire it up again because something is going on here that's a little bit on the weird side. Let's close that down. It's all gone very black. I'm in the non-land of Stadia. And we'll fire it up again. Doopy doopy doop. Boop. Here we go. Hopefully this will get rid of any gremlins we were having. There it is. Now here's the question. Is that going to fire us in back into... The trial, or is it going to say, sorry mate, you've had your chance. Mm, looking good. Looking good. Right, let's see if it works this time. I'm sure there should have been a cutscene and we, for some reason, we weren't seeing it there. Controller linked, powered by Unity, 
2019, so it's a couple of years old, but not too old. Makes me want to go and watch the films again. <laughs> Probably me clicking buttons and stuff that did it in the last time. Preston, how are you, my friend? Look at you showing your beautiful uh, Team Rock Team Rock members badge. Thank you so much for becoming a member of Team Rock today, my friend. I was really chuffed to see that. And um, although you wouldn't have seen it because you obviously you've been busy, um, there's uh, there's a, a new screen at the front of all my streams that lists all the members. So. Um, that's absolutely brilliant and much appreciated. Thank you so much. I think that takes us up to, I think, 24 members now, which is just brilliant. Ah, here we go. Brilliant. Now we, we cured that issue. Also, I have to say, this is a much higher resolution. I didn't want to say it earlier when we were playing the games, but the resolution didn't look too good for some of those games. And I was wondering if it was a problem with them being trials or whether it was an issue beyond that. Of course, having killed that browser and fired it up again, it looks to me like it was more to do with that browser instance. Never had that before. Welcome, brave warrior. Your offering has activated the challenge of the Scratizens. So let's, uh, what do we do here? Long ago, this temple was constructed Oh, you're not even seeing it. Bless you, folks. <laughs> Nobody said a word. Right, it's okay. I've got you covered. Don't you worry about a thing. There we go. There you go. See how much sharper that looks. Right, let's get the controller. No, there we are. Long ago, da -de da to find the mightiest warrior, the crystal nuts were scattered throughout the land. Legend tells of a champion who will return them all to the temple and lead the Scratterzans into a golden age. Frankly, I expected someone a little bit taller. So, yeah, judging by your blank expression, you will need all the help you can get. So we've got a little bit of a puzzle. Now, it'll be interesting to see how hard the puzzle is, because that would give a fairly good indication of what age group it's aimed at. So far, no clues. Oh, we've jumped on to the top of that. I love the way he sniffs. <laughs> oh, down he goes. His face. Wow. He wasn't meant to solve the puzzle. They've really got the character off superbly well here. Go forward, climb the ancient ice cliffs and bring back the first crystal nuts. Oh no. That wasn't too shard. <laughs> So, uh, as is the usual thing with outright games, you collect stuff as you wander around. What about these mage here? No. I don't know whether it's because I I am uh, I'm a lover of the Ice Age franchise or not, but I'm really I'm quite liking this game, and it's only a few seconds in. The Woodland Valley. The Beatles are speedy and will try to attack you with their horn. Uh, well, it's not so. <laughs> it's not so much a look at all of them. Actually, a good mm, mm, the bulk of them, Preston. I've got in my library anyway. So we're looking at the ones that I don't own. Otherwise, it will just fire them up from my library. So you can fast travel. You can go back to where you started. But we don't want to do that. We want to carry on. So that's a little fast travel portal there. I just these enemies will attempt to hurt you. Use your attacks to defeat them. We'll do. But I want to pick up this little box that I spotted. Yes. So we've got 23 crystals and our health is good. There's uh, more crystal box. So we'll have some of that. And uh, we'll jump up here. Oh, oh, look, there's a rhino beetle. Now, the Ice Age, <laughs> this is a really silly statement to make because, of course, Ice Age is not in any way, shape, or form uh, based on any kind of real history. But I do think they jumped the shark 
when they introduced dinosaurs, because of course the period of the Ice Age, which is about 50,000 years, uh, this before 50,000 years ago, um, so I think it was uh, lasted about uh, was about 100,000 years. Um, but the Ice Age was millions of years after the dinosaurs disappeared. But uh, I know it is a cartoon. It's his little noises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, I like this one. This is my favourite so far. I would have loved World Slayer if I hadn't pressed the wrong button and the developers hadn't made it impossible to continue from where you left off. Damn them. Reminds me a little bit of Supraland, actually, in some ways. If you've seen Supraland on other platforms, it's a, it's a nice little sort of 3D game. Swim. Oh, we can bounce. Mm, beam me up, Scratty. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. Well, I definitely like this one. Right, good. We'll leave Scrat to do his thing. We'll try some more games. Let's see now. Let's see. It's a shame that uh, so many of these have all been claimed by me. But I do like the fact that some of them you can continue where you left off, whereas uh, in the case of Outriders it was a definite no-no. Um, well, we've only got... Oh, here we go, some more suddenly arrived. I did think earlier there was a ton more, where they've gone. That's good, because I get we get to play some more grown-up stuff. Um, well, we've got Monster Energy Supercross. No, honestly, I would be really bad at that. There it is. There's your Outriders World Slayer. Although we did look at that, and it, it yeah, it, it's there, look, but it ain't letting us do nothing. That's interesting, though. That browser, the previous browser, was just totally in an unhappy place. Uh, right, what have we got down near the bottom then? Uh, Sirius Sam 4. Let's do so. Oh, it's a bit, oh, it's a bit violent. I want to, though, Spirit Farer. I'm sure I've played that one. Adam's Family. Right, let's do another. Let's do the Adam's Family. Troll Hunters. And there's more. Um, I fancy Adam's Family. Let's see how close to the... Is it Outright Games again? I do, yes, it is. Well, they've certainly got a monopoly in terms of the... Um, do, do, do. Why have I got to go through all this to get down there? In terms of the kids' games on Stadia. And what's interesting is is that the uh, they've only been around for five years, I think, as a studio, making a big name for themselves. Um, but you can definitely see a progression in the quality of their titles. Dee -dee -dee. Porsche. What was it called? Pugsley, the little boy. Uh, I've forgotten. Gomez. My favourite. Uh, you don't hear anything of them these days. It was the, the, the Munsters. Do, 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 do. They were superb. And I thought they were funnier than the Adams Family. Story mode or mini games? Ah, let's do story mode. It's kind of the music. It's got the vibe. There's Wednesday. So, ah, oh, here you go. You can choose who you want to be. Let's go with Gomez. Let's go with Gomez. And uh, continue. So it looks like you can play with other people. Select. <laughs> Caramia, this fish loaf is absolutely to die for. So tell me, who had to die for this? <sighs> Sadly, just the fish. Mia Moore, Wednesday. How was school today? Did you learn anything new? 
Well, mother, I did learn that Brittany Collings must be allergic to cats. <laughs> when she opened her locker and saw the cat I got her for her birthday, she broke out in scratches all over her face and had to go home. Ah. Well, a day off from school is a great gift. Tell her I say happy mm. birthday. Does she even know who you are, dear uncle? Mm. I've got lots of friends in high places. Mm. And how about the science fair? How is your project mm. coming along? It's not. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do. I'm tired of the same old shocks and scares. Ah, oh. oh, we'll skip. <laughs> Crests to find. Tower of Treasure. Okay. Oh yes, It. Cousin It, the hand. A monsters movie this September on Netflix. No way! That's the best news I've heard in days. Oh, but are they going to butcher it, though? Lily! Oh, I love the monsters. Here we go, the old outright uh, signature model of picking stuff up as you go. Although I do like these. These graphics are pretty cool. <laughs> the knife. Press B to bump. Rotten apples. I like the fact that you've been... I don't know why they've shrunk us. Uh, that's quite interesting. Wow, a monsters movie. September as well. It's only a few weeks away. Oh, awesome. September's a funny old month, isn't it? Because it obviously heralds the end of the summer and kind of early uh, yeah, early sight of the fall. But it's when all like decent games come out and there's new stuff on streaming to watch. And so, you know, it's sort of like get you into the staying in and watching, watching TV and stuff, playing games. But what's that thing? Yeah, so similar kind of mechanics, really. And um, the thing that Outright do well is, is they use a fairly limited tool set, I would say, but they apply it really well to different uh, franchises. And you know, it looks different to the other games, even if the, the the whole chest thing. And I think that's because it's a simple enough format that um, appeals to kids. So I understand. Rob Zombie. <laughs> Seriously? Wow, I've never heard of the aforementioned Mr. Zombie. That is so funny. Talking of which, how disappointed was I having watched the first or watched the whole of Resident Evil? Pretty much binge watched it to be fair. And the first two episodes who were directed, I think it was Bronwyn Hughes, who also directed Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. I watched the final episode of that this week as well. Um, and she is an amazing director. There is no question of that. And it clearly brought her in. I should have jumped down from there, shouldn't I? It clearly brought her in to do the first two episodes, so they looked really good. And they got brilliant IMDB ratings, and they kicked her out and brought in really substandard directors, in my estimation. Um, and I really felt like it had so much potential. Um, and what's the shame is, is that if they'd have stuck with Bronwyn, even if they'd gone with, say, three two-hour episodes rather than a big old uh, eight episode, you know, four, four hours, basically. Was it? No, it was eight hours, wasn't it? It was eight, eight hours. So, yeah. I just think it would have been so much better. Personally, I picked up a sword or something. I quite like this game. I mean, it's definitely outright games. But actually, as um, as their stuff goes, I think this has got uh, some really good stuff going on. I know John Scar really liked it. He was um, a big old fan of this. You know, John, 
typically John plays all the outright games when they launch. Just to get a feel for it, it's kind of... Uh, he's a, a family man, I believe, same as, same as myself and same as most of you. So it's good to get a feel for... The great thing is, is that Stadia do, obviously, they're very cautious about what they allow on the platform. And um, they only want decent stuff, particularly for families. Hey, go look at that. Enjoyed this. This is this is okay. But, I mean, it's um, simple. You don't have to kind of tune in to play it. But I love the fact that uh, watching outright games grow, you can absolutely see the quality of their stuff improve as they go. Even some of the games we've looked at today from them, um, you can see how they progress. Press X to slash. There we go, that's what I should have done earlier. Um, up to their more new, up to the newer ones. And they, they I just have a feeling with them that they're gonna be doing something unbelievable eventually. And that's not downing these games. These are very much formula uh, for the IPs. But I just feel that ultimately they're going to be doing something rather clever. Now then, how are you supposed to get up there if you are at all? Hey, <laughs> Rob Zombie. That was a good one. I like that. That was a good one. Right. One more, I think, and that will do us today. So that should take us up to one and a half hours. Let's see, something I've not played or even had a little look at. It's a real shame, you know, that World Slayer was a one one hit only. Because, um, as it happens, all the others have allowed you to go back in. Like these are all little outright games. Let's have a look at, um, I've played Spirit Ferrer. I've done Adam's Family now. Jackbox, Jackbox are brilliant, but they're not games to play on your own, are they? Troll Hunters, what's that? Is that another outright game? Yes, it is, okay. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and avoid another outright games game, just because this, uh, we kind of have a feel for theirs. Let's have a look at Serious Sam, why not? So I, I own Serious Sam the collection. This was the uh, this came out in 2020, which Serious Sam the collection was all their previous games. This was a, sort of a newer rendition of the uh, Serious Sam franchise, which is, as you know, uh, relentless enemies coming at you, no aim down sights, just shoot the the bejesus out of everything that moves and pick up huge guns and it kind of it just helps to scratch an itch I think that most of us gamers have from time to time when you just want to do mindless shooting Serious Sam is the game not to take seriously <laughs> dee 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 Devolver Press any button. Yep, we're going to go with single player. We are going to go with campaign. There we go, man versus beast. Let's go with easy, not that it matters. If you're quiet, you can hear a biomechanical mechanoid coming. Shut up, Rodriguez. Jones. <laughs> Cycle through quotes. Well, there's a lot to this level. Diddly diddly dee. Oh, nil nil at half time. Thanks, Roger. Nil nil at half time, eh? This is one hell of a level. There must be seven and a half million critters in it. Serious Sam, I liked a lot, says Dre. The other one. Uh, the other once on Stadia included with Pro until I got... Yeah, I bought the flipping thing before it was uh, made a Pro game. Until I got on a level where I was stuck 
what I have with most games. Yeah, I'm the same. No, we're all a bit that way, aren't we? When you get stuck on a game, it just completely saps your interest. I know, I, I know it's the same for me. I just can't if I can't get beyond a boss or something. It's kind of over game, game over time. Right, here we go. Continue. Hold on to the skip. Hello, to folks. This is Bill Corwin on Radio Free Earth with the news. Mm -hmm. In the ongoing Tunguska offensive, EDF troops are being Tunguska. pushed back further toward Irkutsk. Meanwhile, we're four weeks into the occupation of France, and we're starting to get occupation of, of France. Cells oh no! I'm back. There you go. I was oh, going to be better. a vidcaster on like Alpha the, uh, Centauri. I had it all planned out. Didn't like the look of the old lights on me there. I was, I was looking a, a bit uh, dramatic. Nothing fancy. I just like to cook. Did I want to be a soldier? Fuck no. Queen Rage, member for 19 or months. You are indeed. You are. Oh, I think oh. there's I three frogs. of you that all joined frogs at the same month. Creatures. Um, right back at the beginning of Team Rock. Thank you there, so much. No and that's me. um, and that's you a coincidence because today to be a Preston joined as a new member as well. How are you, Rage? Lovely to see you, my friend. Loving the new uh, the new Destiny Sol Solstice. Is it Solstice? I had a very very quick look at it earlier, um, just to pick up the, the quest and the armor and stuff. But I saw you playing. I, I think I woke up this morning which would have been uh, about half five UK time. And I had a quick look on my phone and you were still playing. You, I don't know anybody who plays as long as you do. I mean, you look at this. Put in absolutely massive streams. But on top of that, I don't know anybody that controls the stream and the chat as well as you do for that time. I've said it before, but I mean it, you are um, absolutely someone I look up to in terms of you've got it absolutely down. I hope you're keeping well anyway. Dre says, Far Cry 6, I'm stuck in 93% when I have to sneak into the villa of the boss. I'll finish Far Cry 6, I can't remember it. Just take it down to a baby level to get through it. You keep getting uglier. Plus, I think, um, depends, can you use your companion, Dre, in the game? Wow, we just, that entire level load was was to um, simply load all those creatures in. So Rachel says, I'm okay, thank you for asking. I'm glad you're liking the event. Well, I've only literally played a few minutes, um, but uh, I will I will do some more of it for sure. I was a bit disappointed to see that there was um, an upgrade your card for a ton of cash option. Uh, but you know, it's the way it goes I guess. be interesting to see how that changes when Sony is fully uh, absorbed. Uh, when they've fully absorbed Bungie. Rome, Italy, 92 hours earlier. Oh no, I'm on fire. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be your air support for today. We're expecting sunny weather with occasional bursts of gunfire. Please remember to review your mission briefing. I think I'm right in saying it's an Eastern Europe studio, Eastern European studio. I think they're Polish, but I may be wrong. We're going to rendezvous with a priest. Yep. Because he knows where to find the Ark of the Covenant. Yep. Which contains the Holy Grail. Yep. Yep. Which is an alien artifact. Yep. <laughs> so we have to go to the Vatican. Yeah. I want that T-shirt. Uh, That's AAA rookie. Get used to it. I don't know. This is some Da Vinci Code shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the Da Vinci Code, Sam? Nah. I do. Dan Brown. Awesome book. No literary merit. So, um, uh, who's your favorite writer? Uh, Philip K. Dick, I guess. <laughs> Philip K. Dick. Wait, Philip Sam K. Reed Dick. Books? He, uh, I think he's also the instigator of Scientology, if I'm right. Which is the religion of Madonna and Tom Jones, or at least it was the last time I checked. Tom Jones, I meant... I meant Tom Cruise. I'm sure Tom Jones is uh, a devout Welsh 
Sam? Church of Wales, we. I'm here. What's happening? We got hit hard. Convoy's foobar. Gotta regroup and get out of here, or get out of here and regroup. Whatever. Casualties. Come on, we haven't got that long. Right. Did you miss me? Because I didn't miss you. So straight away, I'd want to turn down. Don't worry, kid. I got the controller. Let's see if we got here. We got options. Controller speed is a tad fast for my liking. Vertical view snapping, auto center view, auto aiming. Okay, let's go with that then. Bit better. Oops, oh look. Beheaded firecracker. <laughs> So will you be um, streaming Destiny again later, Rach, or is that your is that your lot for the until the weekend? Oh, can I have your gun? No. Oh. Uh, sir, these Octanian Harvester Leviathans are a lot bigger than I imagined. It's not the size, kid. It's how you use it. I was killed a clear with a nail clipper. a bit uh, homophobic. No grenades. These things, are they? Yep. The process. Humans turned into cannon fodder for Mitzel's horde. Cute, aren't they? How, how can we help them? Apply bullets as needed. Oh, oh, where is he? This guy sounds like a freaking cheap. No! No! I'm caught in the corner! <laughs> caught in the corner with you! Yeah, now in the previous serious sound games you never had uh, aim down the sights from memory you just had to uh, shoot which was what oh, you were yeah. oh, there we I could really use a gun yeah so you don't have aim down this sights is a toy for big boys. this one Ron Hubbard and Tom Jones religion <laughs> I think it would be great I think it would be great to have a Tom Jones religion <laughs> What's new, pussycat? Good old Tom. Come on, look at that. You kind of get the gist of it, right? It's basically this. There is a story. Uh, I believe, but it's still pretty much shoot stuff. And of course, uh, shotguns. Doing damage at great distance. What we're doing? Let's shoot him. Still too, still feels a bit uh, too fast. Controller wise. What was that? Uh, game options. Oh, profanity filter. Yes. Um, show damage numbers. I'd really like to put them on for streaming, to be fair. It's not that I've got um, any particular issue with swearing. I do enough of it myself. I L R I R L. Um, I was actually looking to turn off. Ah, graphic options. I 
was looking to see if there was an option for uh, motion blur, but there isn't, so that's fine. That's all good. It's all good. Now you can also take out the Gnar with your bare hands. Shut but me for eye. larger groups, go for a shotgun or assault rifle. If I had a gun, any gun. <laughs> Where is he, poor fella? Now that looks like a bug. Did you see this? It's, it's okay again now. It's um, there you go. It's like. <laughs> something weird's going on with the position of the halo as I move. Do you see that? And then here it was like a big square. Look at that. It's definitely... That's definitely not how it was designed to be. Interesting. You can see there, Lee. You can see it's like a red box. Um, and, then, and then it kind of works out what it should be and it gives you the proper halo effect. No. Yuck. And remember, kid, Belchers explode, so stay clear of their barf radius. Barf radius? Look, it's not a scientific term, but it well. works for me. Interesting. Yes. Hmm. Little bugette there in the game. It may, may be cured, Sir, if um, I remember correctly, see how the map the in the mission thing. briefing showed an EDF storage facility just over this wall. Huh. Maybe I should start reading that stuff. Sir, um, I still Yeah, I did. Gun, there was. So... I took it down. Um, sorry, uh, I took the sensitivity down, Preston, but it, it, it could do with coming down a bit more, to be fair. Because it is very fast. Some people like that. Some people who are a Please little old, younger than me are oh, too slow. I think. Yeah, look at that. It's dragging around. Do. Let's take it up to about there. See what that's like. Yeah, that'll do. Could be maybe a little bit faster, but um, that's fine. Wow, aiming. Blow up. <laughs> the music was just getting going. Bring it back. Oops, something was uh, flashing down there. Side of a wall and pick up some a shield or something on the other side. We have to get up there. How do we get up there? So okay, they, what they're doing here is they're using sort of bump maps um, in, in place of decent textures. So it kind of gives it a, a sharper feel, but it's it's not as good as having really high quality textures in the first place. Again, it's not a stadia thing, that's just that's a developer's choice. Right, how old 
do I get out? Smash a hole in the walls. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That's where we started. Ah, shield. Pick up one of these things. Ah, there they are. <laughs> wow, it takes a long time to reload. Fella. Who is that? It is I, Professor Gottlieb Kiesel, your scientific the advisor. Is Good talk. Does he always call in at random like that? I think he just gets bored. Is the door open yet? Oh well. Wow. Oh look, it's an angry steak. Why are these cows an angry so steak? Angry? One of us is going down. There he goes. Oh, there's another one. No, there's another one behind me. Are oh, we doing on the ammo front? Are we not? <laughs> oh, what a shame! Right there we go. That was that was okay. That was all right. Yes, I, it's, yes, exactly, Preston. It's funny, isn't it? I, I think that, that goes for most games. It's um. You've kind of got to play it for a bit and then it kind of happens so there you go there was a, a little play of some of the some of the uh, 100 plus trial games that are available on stadia um as i said at the outset unfortunately for us today most of them i've already got in my library so there'll be no point in seeing how they perform under trial or um all the rest of it but uh so many here and you don't need a stadia account either that's the great thing or at least you don't need to pay for a stadia pro account so i'm sure you'd i think you just have to have a google account so as long as you've got a gmail or a google account you're good to fire them up so that's all good and as the sun goes down in the window of my studio and i start to fade into the background i think it's time for me to head out but um, thank you very much, everybody, for, for jumping in. Had a great audience. I um, really appreciate that. A ton of folk. This happened before. It's, um, it's, uh, it's trying to go to Stadia, that, uh, a page that we never went to. So we'll pull up the main page. There we go. So thank you very much, everybody. And uh, I will be back 
hopefully tomorrow to do a, uh, a straightforward a straightforward stream of something fun. Um, and Dre, after today's news, we should be shouting, Stadia, what was today's news? What have I missed? Well done, Rock. Thank you, Dre. It's given us a little bit of an idea, hasn't it? What was today's news, Preston, that I missed? Uh, I have to admit to not having spent a lot of time taking care of uh, Twitter today. But um, if I've missed something, I'm very keen to know what it was. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah, I'm still seeing on Twitter a ton of people talking about a, an article that I mentioned this morning. Um, there you go. Thanks for the stream. Mike, my favourite lurker. How are you, my friend? Thank you for watching, as you always do. Very quietly in the background, not wishing to uh, put yourself into the chat, which is not a problem at all. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any stadium news, Preston, um, but I may be missing out there. I did have a very interesting DM, though, so I'm glad I didn't have that on, uh, on stream. A little bit of information et that would have um, got me in trouble if I'd had it there. A little bit of uh, insider knowledge, as they say. Uh, I'm just going to quickly... Uh, oh, the FIFA news. Ah, has it finally been announced? I know Ray said it was going to happen today um, for Stadia, which is great, FIFA 23. And also, what's good about that is that, um, as we know, <clears throat> the um, EA are moving to, away from FIFA, aren't they? They're going to a different... Um, um, a different model where they essentially sign up all of the, uh, the, 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 the teams and, um, and players and stuff and, and uh, not give massive backhanders to FIFA, which I think is not a bad thing either. But the good thing is, is that um, if they're bringing FIFA 2023 20, to Stadia, then the chances are they'll also be bringing that game, which they have said what it's called, but I've forgotten. It's something like World of Soccer or something. Uh, there you go, 27th of September. Thanks for that, Roger. I tend to do a load of research around Stadia Rock Show, but then I miss stuff um, during the week. So I appreciate uh, you guys keeping me up to date. We thought it was coming, and uh, it's good to see that that's confirmed as well. That'll uh, kick the naysayers, as I just did my mic there, in the tush. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining. I really, really appreciate all your efforts and your time and your support. Thank you, Preston, once again for becoming a member. Thank you, Rach, for being a member for 19 months. That's absolutely amazing. You are amazing. And uh, I'll be hopefully back tomorrow with some more streaming on Thursday. And, of course, um, next Tuesday is uh, a Tuesday. Um, what's the guessing that FIFA's going to be uh, mentioned on this week on Stadia next Tuesday. Right, I'm off to get some sleep because uh, I'm a tired, but not very early. I'd mention that early, didn't I? And um, I will see all of you guys tomorrow. Take care. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.